As projects and buildings continue to hit new heights, so must the equipment. So to better prepare these workers, virtual reality has really emerged as a tool to ingrain safe techniques and all kinds of exciting things. So please welcome Rick Smith, the Senior Director of Global Product Training at JLG. Rick, welcome to the show. Hi, Peggy. Thanks. So, Rick, there's a lot of things happening today out there, and you guys are doing a lot of great training. Let's talk a little bit about it. When we were with you uh, at Con Expo, you guys were doing some really amazing things, and we were testing some of it. Let's talk about what you guys are doing today. Uh, you bet. So what you saw at Con Expo is our virtual reality immersive simulator. It's, a, uh, it's an 800S virtual machine that uses Oculus Rift technology and, uh, and leap motion to... Uh, detect and, and let the uh, user see their virtual hands. So uh, we have this 800S immersive simulator uh, in virtual reality, and uh, uh, it was a real big hit at Con Expo. You know, when I was trying to do it, you know, I definitely knew that I was not somebody who was in the construction industry that could move a lot of these things. And I was finding it was a little bit difficult. But the idea behind that is getting someone who's really trying to improve safety. How does that really help the contractors who are out there and trying to be out uh, using the equipment and what you're teaching them? I, I think it's a huge help. The, uh, when a new operator gets in an 800S or, or any boom lift, it's intimidating. You know, the controls, they've been taught about the controls in the classroom. Now they have to get in the real machine and actually operate the machine. And, uh, and this, this tool eliminates that, uh, that anxiety, basically, where they get in the machine, virtual machine. It's 100% safe. There's no, they can't damage the equipment. They can't get hurt. Uh, so they operate this 800S in this virtual environment. It's absolutely realistic. And uh, the timing is exactly the same as the real machine. All of the controls are, uh, are, are the real controls. And uh, it eliminates any of that learning curve that, uh, that happens the first time a person's in the machine. So talk a little bit about that. When you have these boom lifts now and you're doing this virtual reality training that you're talking about right now, how fast are and is improving, I would say, the, the training that you're seeing when you're putting new people in this to actually learn? Um, so I think how quickly do they learn? It, it was interesting at Con Expo to see um, the, how quickly people came up to speed. We had hundreds of new operators in those VR demonstrators. And, uh, and, and our scenario was, a, was a, uh, like a race where they, they drove through a course and then they had to navigate obstacles safely. And they lost time if they, if they hit any obstacles or didn't operate safely. Um, but the point is that if, if a person jumped in for the first time, they've never been in a boom, they would maybe take eight minutes to complete the course. If they did it again, they cut that time down to probably three minutes. So you could significantly see a, a learning curve reduction in, in their second operation. Um, if they did it two or three times, uh, they just continued to get better and better. So is immersive training doing something different than what you did before and other type of training? Are you seeing a different improvement, I would say, through immersive training? Uh, yes, yes. I think the, the major improvement is the, the people get to practice in a, in, a, in a safe environment. They know it's safe. They, uh, there's no threat, no intimidation. They are, uh, they are in a classroom or in a safe place in this virtual machine. And if they mess up, there's, there's really no consequences. You can reset the scenario and they start over again. So uh, learning in the machine, there's no, uh, no issues for a person as far as equipment damage or, or uh, you know, safety. So that's really a good point. So you can actually get people learning so much more using this immersive training and then actually going out and using the equipment instead of actually going out onto the construction job site and doing something greater damage by using a piece of equipment that they're still actually learning out on the job site where now they're using immersive training that gives them the experience there, right? Absolutely. You know, so they get that, that initial learning curve is, is done in the simulator, not in the real world. And uh, you know they're not at risk. The equipment's not at risk. Their peers are not at risk. It's a uh, it's a great safe learning tool. So where can people go to actually learn to do more of the training that you're offering right now? Um, so it, we will be bringing the uh, the JLG immersive simulator to the market. But uh, right now we're working with pilot groups 
of different customers and users around the country. We're working with them to put these VR simulators in their workplaces and uh, just getting feedback right now on how how they are going to actually be used in the field. It, it's brand new technology for us, and uh, we're piloting it with a, with several customers and construction sites. When do you think that it'll be available for people to use now that you're piloting? Um, we're shooting for uh, probably uh, August, September of this year. Well, Rick, it's been great talking to you, and thanks for being with us on Safety Zone. Thank you.